place is China. Seems that Mao Zedong, before his death in 1976, decided that a plague of sparrows was putting a large dent in grain production. So in the kind of short-sighted, ill-conceived wisdom that's apparently shared by Chinese dictators and American corporate agricultural CEOs, Mao called for the elimination of sparrows. The killing of the sparrows released a swarm of insects, a problem that affected agriculture much more than the damage done by the birds. So massive spraying programs were instituted. The spraying not only killed harmful insects, it killed beneficial ones as well, including pollinators. Without bees, Chinese crops blossomed, but didn't produce. Are we humans making ourselves vulnerable by continuing to use pesticides, herbicides, and other harmful chemicals in amounts that can't even be measured? Are the rises in certain cancers, endocrine diseases, asthma and allergies, brain function disorders, birth defects, and fertility problems linked to agricultural chemicals? There's no evidence, shout those who profit from their use. But on the other side of the coin is a warning. There's no proof that they don't. We know that many of these products cause cancers, endocrine, and reproductive problems, and other troubles for lab animals. What are the unintended consequences of their use on humans? And if we know beyond a suspicion that lawn sprays and agricultural chemicals can do harm, are those consequences still unintended? Just asking. <laughs>